In any competitive landscape, you'll often find that your competitors will actually outrank you. But as an expert, you'll often know some of the key terms that you can use as a good basis to start your research. This process is about ensuring that you're covering the right subjects with your content in order to get the best results for you and your business. In this quick vid, we're going to talk about how to find your competitors' keywords for content ideation. And this is a process that helps you to find the key terms that your competitors rank for, but that you don't. And then once you've got this list of key terms, you'll use this to evaluate the best opportunities from that list for new content. The key indicators that you'll be looking for are the searches in your target market, if the trend of these searches is going up or down, the keyword difficulty and how that keyword difficulty compares to other keyword opportunities, and where you and your competitors rank for these keywords. And to do this, we're going to look at three methods today. The first of these three tools we're going to look at is called SEO Monitor and it uses something called Competitor Insights to deliver this task. It's a simple link that you find at the top of the page. It presents you with a dashboard of opportunities for keywords that you and your competitors might be trying to rank for and a number of search volumes around terms that are linked to it according to Google's close variations and close matches. It presents you with this quick snapshot of linked terms so that you can compare yourself and your competitors to see who is stronger in particular areas. Unlike the others, this does actually present you with a list of increasing or decreasing search traffic. Essentially, what you're looking for is the sharper the increase, the more opportunity. But it's also important to understand that other SEOs will have access to this information. And so that may also present a tougher opportunity that others will be really competing for. The second tool is something called Ahrefs, and they use content gap analysis for this task. It is the only one of the three that will suggest the keyword difficulty. This is a ranking out of 100, and typically you're looking for the lower the better. But that doesn't stand alone. You do actually need to also compare this to the number of monthly searches within your target market. All you need to do to use this tool is log in, scroll down on the left, and then you'll see something called Content Gap Analysis. And this currently has a little flame next to it to make it nice and easy to find. Then what you need to do is take each of your competitors' URLs and enter them at the top, and enter yours at the bottom. And what it will do is it will generate opportunities and they will be ordered by your searches per calendar month in your chosen region. You can then tweak this according to different factors to decide whether one opportunity is better than the other. And these are keyword difficulty, the cost per click, which is a paid advertising metric, and how the competition ranks for each of your key terms. The third way of doing this is something that called WordStream, and this is the DIY version. So WordStream is limited, but it is accurate it will provide you simply with the keywords and the search volume, which obviously doesn't provide you with as much information as the other approaches, but it is a good way to do it with belts and braces. All you need to do is create a spreadsheet with columns for keywords, search traffic, competitors, and list them one by one in each column. You will then search the keywords within WordStream and use this to fill in your spreadsheet. What you do from there is use those keywords and enter them one by one into Google and note down anywhere that your competitors are ranking in the top 10 within their relevant column. I would only stick to using one to 10 because this can be quite a manual process and it can take quite a long time. So it's not worth doing this for the top 100 rankings because you could find yourself spending many days to pursue this and find the good opportunities. Any of these approaches will give you some research that you can use to determine the top targets for new content opportunities. It is now then just a case of determining whether it is more suitable for a blog, on-page content, or going for something bigger like an infographic, a video, or an interactive. If you're still struggling to come up with new content ideas for your next digital marketing campaign, then maybe you need to contact Kuzai for help with your next project. What we'll do is we'll use the research and the intelligence using the industry-leading tools that you can then use to design content that is going to have the best impact for you and your business.